we're going to talk about short throw projectors. So an example of a short throw projector would be this Hitachi model right here. Now, this would generally be mounted on a wall arm and it would hang in this fashion with the mirror facing your screen or your board over here. Now the benefits of a projector like this, um, you have a shorter throw distance. So with a projector like this, for a typical 77 inch interactive whiteboard, you might be eight to 10 feet away. For an ultra short throw projector, such as this one, you're talking about less than two feet. For a short throw projector, maybe a little less than four feet. Uh, so you're much closer to the board. What does that mean in real world terms? It means less shadowing. When this projector's on the other side of your room, if you step in between this projector and your screen or your whiteboard, you cast a shadow on it. When your projector is less than two feet away, there's very little shadowing. And whatever shadowing there is, you're not really looking at because it'll be from your finger and it's gonna be below whatever you're working with. Some other great benefits uh, for a teacher or an instructor, a short throw projector is not gonna have as much light shining in your eyes. More often than not, that projector is gonna be directly over your head while you're speaking to your audience. So unlike a projector on the other side of the room, you're not going to have to look into this bright light uh, that's blinding you as you're trying to give a lesson. From an administrative point of view, these are easier to install and generally have lower installation costs. Uh, being mounted on the wall, on, a, on an arm, you won't need to run long cables through your walls up into your ceiling. You won't need to run electrical into your ceiling. It'll look like a cleaner installation, maybe to have an electrical outlet higher up on the wall. You may need to get longer power cords or longer video cables but you're not required to run them through your walls and into your ceiling. Uh, so that can certainly be a lower installation cost. Lastly, is something not many people consider, but a projector like this mounted on the wall, it's a bit of a distance above your whiteboard or your screen, whatever you're using. And this projector is gonna be mounted out of the way. If you have a projector like this that's sitting on a cart, that's in the middle of the room, it's on the floor, uh, people can bump into it, you can throw it off, it's gonna get moved around. A projector that's mounted on the wall, like a ceiling mounted projector, people can't reach it. So you don't have to worry about anyone messing around with it. You don't have to worry about it moving. It's there, it's gonna stay there, and it's out of the way. Next, I'm gonna to touch upon interactive projectors. And what an interactive projector is, is it's a standard projector, whether short throw or this style short throw projector, where it might sit around four feet from the wall. But it has interactivity built in, typical interactive whiteboard system without the whiteboard. You would generally project onto a hard surface like a dry erase marker board or maybe even a wall. Certain applications you can use a fabric screen if you really wanted to, but a hard surface would be best. Is combining the cost of the projector and the board, but it's going to be much less than the two separately. So whereas you're going to have to spend X amount of dollars on a board, X amount of dollars on a projector, now you're going to spend a little bit more on the projector and not have to worry about the board. This sort of setup does not work for everyone, but it is a great setup and it just might suit your needs. If you think this will work for you, let us know. We'll be happy to show you a few different models.